What is up everybody and welcome back and in this video we are at uh, the first and only job uh, I've got on for the day so we are at that job now. We also have five or six winter top tips for you guys so stay tuned for them. So we are at this property for uh, clean up, clear uh, all the leaves and that sort of thing. You know what it is guys around the autumn time. A lot of leaves around this property by the looks of it and I'm sure the back's going to be covered so we will be cleaning up the leaves. Having a uh, little clean up, go have a walk around and let's find out and let's see what needs doing. Right, so here we are, guys, at the first job. And we'll be clearing up lots of leaves today. And we'll be doing lots of cleaning up around these borders. I'm moving around the back. We'll be hitting all of this with the backpack blower, I believe. Because obviously, I am working alone today, guys. I do not have Leon. So there's some of the beds and that sort of thing, guys. This side's looking quite bad, so we'll just have to hit it with the backpack blower and see what we can do, I think. But I'm glad I've got that, because last time I was here I didn't. So, we've got oh, an awful lot of leaves back here, guys. Right, guys, so I was just out doing these beds, and the customer's just asked just to give me uh, these a quick blow, and move on to round the side and the back so we will do that now also i have invested in another tripod guys so we can keep making videos and keep producing content for you lovely people My blower was kicking out a bit of black, black smoke, I'm not sure why, I just didn't want to run. Right then guys, so the time has come and uh, we're going to get into some of my top tips. So here we go. To start off, my first top tip. A little bit. My first top tip, guys, would be don't overbook yourself, you know. Uh, the winter's here, the rain is here, and it can all be a bit unpredictable and that sort of thing. So uh, don't overbook yourself, you know. I've almost made that mistake of overbooking myself. And not being able to follow through and get the work done. So it's not a good situation. And, you know, I'm falling behind. And I'm trying to clear the work uh, very fast. But, uh, you know, I'm struggling. So don't overbook yourself, guys. That would be our top tip number one. Uh, especially if you've got an employee and that sort of thing. Because, you know, on days like today where your uh, employee is uh, ill and sick. And, like, last week I was ill and sick. You know, you're having time off and that sort of thing. So don't overbook yourself during the winter, guys. It can be so easy to. You can be so tempted just to want to get as much work as you can. But don't do it. Uh, don't burn yourself out. Because you want to keep your body ready for the mowing season. You know, when that season comes, when April, May, June come. You know, June, July are probably our busiest months. And, you know, you want to reserve the energy. You want to keep the energy in the tank for them months. So you can put uh, a little bit of money up and that sort of thing, guys. So during these months, you can kick your feet up. You can enjoy it. You know, you don't want to have to be going out in the snow and all sorts to be going to work, do you? It's not It's not possible. You can't mow the grass if it's all uh, snowed over. Yeah, it's just not good, is it, guys? So don't overbook yourself because it will come and bite you in the bum. And, you, you know, you can end up having a bad reputation. 
if you're having to, you know, cancel jobs and that all the time. So try not to do it, guys. So that would be uh, sort of my uh, sort of uh, first top tip. You have to give yourself time off for the rain and this sort of thing as well, guys. It's not just as straightforward as uh, I've got five days. Let's book five days worth of work in the garden in a sort of industry. That's what I've learned anyway. Uh, I've learned the hard way just like uh, everyone else. So tip number two would be uh, step back and have sort of have a look at your business, guys, and analyze and see how you can improve, uh, see what sort of systems and software you can uh, implement. Uh, I did a video on my last video. I did a video on my last video. I went into system softwares, uh, what I'm using, how I'm analysing my business over some time that I've had off, and that sort of thing, guys. So go check that out if you uh, want a bit more of a deep dive about systems and software. But that would be um, another suggestion, you know, is take a step back, have a look at your business, have a look at the facts, have a look at the figures, and see how you can improve and move forward. So that would be tip number two, guys. Let's move on to tip number three. So obviously make sure you're constantly checking your pricing structure and that sort of thing. Make sure your prices are, you know, realistic, reasonable and competitive. It sort of links in with the second one there, guys, but just take a step back and have a step of the finances because that's what's going to, you know, put the money in your pocket. That's what's going to allow you to take that time off during winter. Uh, these uh, five tips are all sort of somewhat linked, so... They all sort of have a correlation into each other. Let's move on to, I uh, believe it's tip number four now, guys. We are really going through these, yes. So tip number four would be take the time uh, and make sure all your equipment is up together, is all serviced, uh, and have a little plot and plan and think, uh, am I going to need any uh, bits of equipment for the next season? Because this would be a brilliant time to, you know, hit the used market, see if you can grab yourself a bargain. While the winter's here, well, most people aren't using the garden and equipment, that sort of thing. Now's a great time to snag up a bargain. You know, it's also a great time to then buy the machine, if you're looking for a machine, for example. Then uh, service the machine, along with all your other machines, and all, you know, the kit you'll be using for your mowing season. Uh, it's a brilliant time. So, that is top tip number four, guys. Let's go on to the final top tip of the day. And my final top tip of the day, guys, would be uh, look at your uh, diary. Uh, and look at your gardening routes and that sort of thing and see if you can uh, make it more efficient at all. To see if you can sit there and see if oh, this customer's a bit out of my reach or I sort of don't really want to be going this far for an hour. Grass cut, for example, or something like that. You know, we all got it. That one customer that's sort of half an hour away, maybe 40 minutes, and you're just like, you know what? It's taken up so much time. It's not, it's not a profitable job. So that would be my final top tip of the day, guys. Weed out any of your sort of stragglers uh, along your rounds, uh, along your maintenance round and that sort of thing. So if you've got any jobs, you're like, oh, that's, that's a heck of a distance. You know, start thinking about replacing them. Seeing if you can get a, get a replacement in place. See if you can fill that gap and see if you can move on to the next one, guys. Because, you know, a customer can choose you just as much as you can choose a customer. So, although it's unfortunate, don't be hesitant, you know, let, let go of a customer. I guess that would be the top tip. If it doesn't benefit you and doesn't benefit your business, don't think you owe any loyalties to the customer because you don't. Because at the end of the day, if a cheaper person comes along or if, you know, the customer finds there's someone else better suited for the job, guess what? I'm sure they're going to send you on your way, guys. So, really don't, really don't feel like you're being selfish. Really do what you need to, you need to do, you know, guys, and... Take the business to the next level. That's what my previous uh, sort of video was about. Sort of elevating your business. How can you take it to the next ve level? And that's what I'm sort of all about, guys. I'm about the business side of things just as much as I am the gardening. So, there's just, uh, I believe there was five top tips there anyway, guys. Uh, so, there was a nice little segment uh, to fill up this video. But we will get back to the gardening because the daylight is fading. And I do believe, so we will get back to the gardening, guys, because the daylight is fading, and I do believe uh, the rain is starting. So we want to beat that. Uh, but yeah, let's get you back up on the tripod, guys, because I now have a lovely new tripod. I've also got a backup on the way, so we can't be in a predicament like that again. Incidents happen, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get you uh, hooked up. Let's get the backpack blower on, and let's uh, finish blowing them leaves to the back of the garden and get the remainder of them collected for the customer, guys. Right then, guys, I have had an idea for one more top tip. 
So here's a bonus one. So just as I was getting out of the van, I had a thought, and I thought, you know, another great top tip would be to trial out new services and that sort of thing. So obviously, I'm a big advocate for diversifying your business and that sort of thing, guys. So I think during the winter is a really good time to test these ideas out to see if uh, these are services that you would want to, you know, sort of add on to the services that you already provide for your existing customers and that sort of thing, guys. So there's a little bit of a bonus one, guys trial out any new services and that sort of thing while you're a little bit more quiet quick little progress update guys and we're over halfway done we've just got a couple of piles shut up we just got a couple of piles now that i'm going to pick up with the leaf grabbers before i hit it once again with the blower Thank God, ain't she a thirsty girl? Just drinking the fuel. Absolutely loves it. But, let's get on. This has just got a ginormous tank though, guys. I think it's a litre and a half, which is quite a lot. Oh, I'm filling it. There we go, that'll do. Go guys, as you can see, we have a lovely full tank of fuel. Let's crack on. There's one full wheeler bin. Right, yo, then guys, we are done for this visit. And what a difference! Just look at the difference, guys. That is just. Absolutely night and day difference, guys. Let's get some back to back before and afters up now. So I'll put some befores up. But here is after, guys. That's exactly what this garden needed a couple of hours of TLC. But let's get cleared up, guys. Let's go home. Right guys, so I am going to wrap this one up here, but I really hope you enjoyed. If you could uh, please subscribe, as I'm really trying to hit 500 subscribers before Christmas, uh, that would mean a lot. It's been a somewhat productive day guys, so I'm extremely happy about that. I still managed to get a job done, a video recorded, and there's some, some of my top tips as well guys. Uh, please leave your thoughts and our comments in the comments section. Get a little discussion going, I don't bite, uh, yeah. Have a little chat with me down there, guys. Once again, the backpack blower is uh, holding its weight and is uh, paying for itself. So that is uh, fabulous. But that has been all for today, guys. And remember, if your garden's looking worse for wear, call Hampshire and Dorset Garden Care. See you in a bit, guys.